guys. When I say, like, I'm really excited about this video, I mean I'm really excited about making this video. Today, we're gonna talk about our Wong Kar Wai inspired shoot. <laughs> this shoot has been like two months in the making mostly because I was waiting for my pre-order of Sinistil 400 to come in and boy oh boy it does not disappoint I really wish I ordered more but I only ordered the single roll just because I wasn't sure how it would be. My one pre-ordered roll came in and I knew exactly what to do with it. We're just gonna go through each of the photos and then I'm gonna talk about what specifically inspired that photo. This is also going to be my review of Cinestill 400 so it's like a bam bam double whammy. Okay. Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> still. 400 dynamic. That's what we're shooting on today. And I have my favorite summer right over here. Oh my god. <laughs> what? So we're gonna load this and we're gonna shoot a Wong Kar Wai inspired shoot today. So it's gonna be awesome. But I don't think it's gonna shoot. Too well. There we go. Look-wise, the shoe was heavily inspired by Fallen Angels. I watched a video from Grain Check, and she talked about how the film tend to lean on the greener side, and I thought this is perfect for like a grimy, grungy, 90s kind of shoe. The only thing I really touched on these photos were the S-curve, but that's pretty much it. I didn't mess with the colors or anything, so I just really wanted to see how the photos would look as is. I really, really like how this film does with skin tones. So this is where I started to play with motion blur. Something I noticed in Wong Kar Wai's films, especially in Chunking Express and Fallen Angels, is that he does a lot of slow shutter type shots, especially when like a main character is running through a crowd or just running in general. I feel like that kind of look is very disorienting and I really love how that is so I wanted to incorporate that into some of the shots. This one's severely out of focus and it pisses me off. me off. But we... Oh my gosh, what is this? I love this one. There's another thing about those movies that just feels very curious. When Summer peeked through the window and she was like looking out, that captured it perfectly. It's a little bit tilted, but I feel like that kind of adds to it too because a lot of his movies look messy but intentional imperfectly perfect you know what i mean from that window we were looking down and i thought this would be the perfect time to do a motion blur of summer walking across frame just to really double down on that whole running sequence that Wong Kar Wai loves to do in his movies with the slow shutter speed so i gave it a black border put the two photos next to each other. I thought this would look really good with text on them. So I messaged her, I'm like, hey, could you give me a couple blurbs about how you feel? And then I'll put it on the photo. So um, here's one of the phrases she gave me. I really like how this turned out. I feel like just one of the photos by themselves wouldn't have been as strong as like both of the photos next to each other with the black border, with the text. I totally forgot that we did some digital photos as well. I'm gonna show you one that Summer likes. I'm not gonna show you the other two. My grandpa had given me some of these like colored filters that he had from like the 80s. 
what I love to do is just use equipment completely wrong, but in a way that works. So what I did is um, I had the flash on on my camera and then I just held that, um, I'm pretty sure it was the yellow filter over the flash just so when it flashed it would be like this really yellow bright kind of look. The lighting that they had like overhead was naturally giving off like a, a yellow type of hue so um, I wanted to see how that would look on my film camera so I did that and then I also had slow shutter and I told Summer oh just turn your head a little bit on three so we'll have like a motion blur. From the final edit, I'm like, I feel like something is missing. Like it's not as strong as it could be. And I think it just really adds to it. Like I didn't think too much about the handwriting, like perfecting, perfecting it. From here we decided it's time to start heading out. Let's just shoot where we see inspiration and then finish off this roll. So as we were walking, um, we had to cross this street and I really, really, really wanted to get like another motion blur. Um, so as we were walking, I pointed the camera at Summer. I'm like, Summer, look here. So I shot the photo as we were walking as a car was turning behind her. And I love this one. This is one of my favorites. For the most part, I kept the dust and some of like the scratches on the film. I didn't want to go too crazy in editing it because like I really wanted to go for that imperfect, perfect kind of look. Cine still is just next level for night shoots. I just really love how the colors turned out. They're super vibrant. As we were walking closer to the car, um, there was like this kind of sketchy dive bar kind of thing. you can definitely see a lot of the dust specks which I'm also embracing. I used to be someone who would obsess over dust and specks and just like try to get rid of every single one that I saw. That's kind of the beauty of film. I didn't go through and add these specks in. This is just how it was when I scanned it. Like I went through and I actually like I used a dust blower like the on the film and it still came out so you know if it's meant to be there, it's meant to be there. I hate being in my comfort zone too much is like the moral of the story. <laughs> this is one of the ones that actually is in focus, yippee! I really love the yellow lighting and the way it looks on film. Like, I really wish I got another roll of this film because I feel like I would gravitate more towards this than Portrait 400. I didn't even mean to do this, but when I was editing these photos, I saw this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, this reminds me so much of a still from Chunking Express. We get to the car, and another style of photos I really, really enjoy is like the red of like brake lights casted onto somebody. Ian was in the car, he had his foot on the brake, and then Summer and I were standing behind the car. And then I wanted to do some more motion blur because like it was pretty dark, so I had to have the shutter speed pretty slow in order to get like the right exposure. So I told Summer like on three, just like rotate your body a little bit. As I was explaining it to her, a car was like coming down the street. I'm like, okay, let's do this, let's go. This is the last film photo I have. We got into the car um, our safe place because around this time it was getting like really sketchy downtown. So the way we did this is Ian was in the driver's side. He had either my phone or his phone with the flashlight on and he was holding an orange filter that I had over the flashlight so it was like a really strong orange cast on summer. And then I just had Summer lean on her hand and then I shot the photo. I did take off some of the dust specks, just the ones like primarily on her face that would distract from the photo itself.
but I really wanted to keep all the ones surrounding her. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really had such a good time shooting this. I will see you guys again very soon. Bye!